we are getting ready to go on a little excursion and so I needed to pack a lunch. I had my same um, 275 calorie breakfast this morning, the oatmeal and the egg white. And yesterday I had made some chicken breasts and I used some of this classic buffalo seasoning mix on top, a wing mix, and made it kind of hot. I didn't know it was going to make it so spicy, but anyway, um, I'm going to leave that in the fridge for now. I took a three ounce um, piece of chicken breast and cut it up on this tri-colored coleslaw. And then I have a couple of tablespoons of this, a couple of tablespoons of this dressing is um, zero points. And so I'm going to be taking this with me in here. And I'm actually packing this very simple salad. Oh, I also have for my fats a tablespoon of flaxseed meal in here as well. Um, I'm also going to be packing it in this <laughs> recycled Cool Whip light container because if we're on the road, I can toss this and not feel bad. And I don't want to take any sort of Rubbermaids that I have to wash and bring home. So this is going to get packed and then tossed. Hey everybody, we are on the road again. Um, so we're on the way to Knott's Berry Farm for a really quick trip. Um, here's my hubby saying hello. <laughs> All right, it's way too loud in here. I have a lot to talk to you about, but um, I'm not going to keep you in here because it's really irritating for you to have to listen to the road. Um, but just real quick, I just wanted to let you know I've been really kind of a little stressed lately and I've had a lot on my plate. So I think for the duration of this trip, I'm actually only going to count freestyle points. I am not going to count calories because it's just an extra step I don't really need to do on this trip right now. And I just need to relax a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be listing my calories, but um, freestyle. And there's a couple reasons why, um, other than just taking it easy. So I will see you in a little bit. Sunday morning and we are waiting for Snoopy to come say hi good hi. <laughs> for breakfast.
morning everybody it is Monday morning and we are heading out to find some breakfast somewhere I think we're gonna pop into Denny's and then we're gonna go back to Knott's and do a little bit of shopping um, I need to get a few not um, what do you call it? boysenberry items <laughs> since they had the festival I want to bring some things back to Calvin and then also have for ourselves so um, I will see you in a little bit to see this monument I'm not even sure what it's called but it was we always see it whenever we go down the, uh, the road so I thought we would find a back road off of the 15 and um, take a closer look And we're leaving. Hey baby. We are officially almost home now and our trip is just about over and so now I'm heading back to my life of responsibility and discipline. Um, so there are a few things I learned a few different things being on this trip every time we go out of town I learned a few learn a few things um, about how about myself and how I deal with going on a trip and how I you know handle that kind of stuff and a few things had occurred to me number one of uh, one of them was especially since I really was a little stressed on our way out um, was it's okay to you know there's a time for everything under the Sun and celebrations and a time to have a treat once in a while is okay it's all right um, and I did that another thing I needed to remember was to keep it in in um in moderation and to remember that and so what i would do is i would weigh the day and go do i want i knew that they were having the berry festival at knott's berry farm so i knew that i wanted to try something either from the booths or something that was going to be really rich that was boysenberry flavored and so i had my eye on a coconut boysenberry macaroon but um, I didn't end up. Actually, I never saw a booth for that. Did yeah, you? No, I never yeah. Saw so it. I don't know. Maybe that's something they decided not to do. See it for selling a shop or anything. Yeah. Right. And so what we ended up doing was I ended up splurging on the boysenberry pie milkshake, which I split with my husband because on a trip, one of the um, most helpful things for me to do is if I'm going to have something kind of you know a little high and everything is to split it with someone and my hubby's always willing to do that with oh, yeah. me so um, so that really helped a lot on that but unfortunately another thing I also learned was lately I've been suspecting that my um, lactose intolerance has level has been um, creeping up a little bit and the milkshake just really did me in for the rest of the night um, I just had gut aches for the rest of the night. I know that's what it was so um, I still do okay with the yogurt, you know stuff that I have at home But the milkshake was just over the top for me, so I just won't be doing that again um, But it still tasted amazing. I love boysenberry. Okay, so another thing that I learned was that you know the choices that I'm making so in the morning say you know a very controllable bre breakfast is super controllable for me because it's I can go with the same o same o and really control the calories the points um, and like when we had breakfast at the hotel it um, it's like I looked it all up as I was having it so I realized after everything was on my plate that I could have half of the sausage that I had because the points were way too high and then um, of course I relied more on the eggs which are free on freestyle um, and then instead of a whole um, piece of French toast I had half of a piece of French toast and instead of putting the maple syrup on it um, which isn't like you know oh I gotta have maple syrup 
ended up having some of the boysenberry jam and just spread a really not even it wasn't even a teaspoon it was like a quarter of a teaspoon thin layer of boysenberry um, jam on it and I was fine with that so there's just you know you just make those little choices along the way and I did all that because I was saving it for later in the day because I knew I wanted to splurge we knew no the night before we had the chicken dinner and that was something that that's like one of our favorites right it's what we do if we go to knots we got to have the chicken dinner at that restaurant um, that is definitely you know a big deal and so but when we had the pie um, you know it really helps to share that you know as much as possible unfortunately they brought the kids like this big cube of jello at first and so by the end of the night they're all wired you know and they just it was like red jello and I never give them the red jello right and so um, anyway that was it was really hard to get to sleep though that night with all that rich food in our tummy oh, why we didn't get a good yeah we really get a good sleep night sleep plus our neighbors were really noisy Anyway, I don't want to detail that. I just should have put my earphones in because, yeah. Anyway, I won't go. I won't get into that. He but through it. yeah, he did. Um, so, Except for the snoring. Yeah, that's right. Some guy was sawing logs. Right, right. It just it was really. I was just laying there with my eyes open most of the time. Anyway, um, okay. So that was the splurge, and then oh, last night. We all bought a boysenberry topped topping flavored funnel cake and we split that and of course there's five of us so um, what's really nice about traveling like this as a family and sharing is that no, not one person gets like an, a big, too big of an amount and so it really kind of helps cut down on the points and things like that. Um, you know one thing we were talking about is that um, I ran across this information from someone who used to work with Arnold Schwarzenegger um, when he was a lot younger and he was still, you know, lifting and everything, doing bodybuilding. And they were about to eat something um, from the catering table and, and he said, are you going to keep eating that? It was like, a, I don't know, some sort of Danish or something. And the person said, well, yeah, you know, it's, <laughs> it's what I'm going to eat. And he said, well, the first bite is really what you want. And any more than that is just excess. So you should just toss it, you know, and that that was something that they learned, you know, that, yeah, if you have a craving for something, sometimes really all you need is one or two bites and think about it. And if you've sufficed your um, curiosity, maybe don't eat it the rest of it you know and so I think that's been playing over in my mind and I made a few choices like that this weekend where I chose to maybe not eat something of the whole thing but um, I don't know what have you been thinking about that lately yeah well I you know I've been thinking about that Arnold thing you told me about yeah it makes a lot of sense and um, with that in mind you know not getting the whole uh, pastry that we got the uh, funnel yeah. cake without without eating the entire funnel cake right I felt okay about it yeah you know? me too a right. couple bites and I was good right it makes sense so sometimes it does make um, sense I just want to say thank you for coming along on our trip with us we had a really good time again and um, we'll be going camping soon so I, I will let you go for now and I will see you soon bye